Nolajet here at Lenny's Cafe. Good stuff in here. Yeah. Welcome to Nolajet. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans Food Restaurant Review Vlog, we visit Lenny's Cafe on our travel search for the best burger and top plate lunch options in New Orleans. Lenny's Cafe is located in the New Orleans Warehouse District at 741 Barone Street, which is about 1.2 miles and 5 minutes away from the French Quarter. Lenny's Cafe is one of the most affordable restaurants for New Orleans breakfast and lunch, with many saying it's their choice for the best value for a New Orleans breakfast restaurant and for great plate lunches. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. Lenny's Cafe is a popular neighborhood spot for the residents and workers in the warehouse district. Lenny's Cafe has become noted for their affordable daily plate lunch specials that feature a lot of great New Orleans and Southern food. This is a really great spot for breakfast and lunch with their daily specials, burgers, po' boys, and other traditional New Orleans food. So the interior is a very common and familiar sight here with a long and narrow shotgun design. Then there's a lot of interesting memorabilia to look at on the walls wherever you look at. And there's always an interesting group of people in here eating. So there's always something interesting going on inside here. And it's got a nice diner style retro feel to it that makes it a really comfortable spot to get an easy seat by yourself or at one of the tables. So they do the cooking back there. You can see them active in the kitchen whenever you're here. From all the Greek Fest posters in here, you can tell that a family of Greek ancestry is running the place and I am a big fan of the Greek Fest myself. Now let's check out the menu here now. So we have breakfast with eggs served with grits or hash browns and choice of toast or biscuit. Omelet served with grits or hash browns and choice of toast or biscuit. Sandwiches, egg with ham, sausage, or bacon with hot or smoked sausage or turkey. Egg with ham, sausage, or bacon with cheese with hot or smoked sausage or turkey. Pancakes and French toast, biscuits, and side orders. And then we have sandwiches with the roast beef, hot sausage, smoked sausage, meatball, hamburger, cheeseburger, chicken fried steak, BLT, ham, ham and cheese, turkey breast, tuna, hamburger steak, club special with fries, grilled cheese, fried oyster, fried shrimp, fried fish with cheese, and order of French fries. Selection of salads and hot soups with vegetable and chicken noodle, and I was told these come out of the can. And a selection of beverages. Then on the other side, we have our daily specials with Monday chicken fried steak, fried pork chop, hamburger steak, grilled chicken breast, smoked sausage, fried shrimp, meatballs and spaghetti. Tuesday, grilled chicken breast, grilled parmesan, smothered liver, fried chicken, hamburger steak, meatballs and spaghetti, fried shrimp. Wednesday, veal cutlet, stuffed pepper, smoked or hot sausage, hamburger steak, fried shrimp, meatballs and spaghetti, fried catfish, Thursday, baked chicken, fried chicken, baked meatloaf, fried pork chop, veal parmesan, fried shrimp, hamburger steak, meatballs and spaghetti. Friday, seafood platter, shrimp oysters fish, fried shrimp, fried fish, shrimp stew and rice, grilled chicken breast, fried oysters, hamburger steak, meatballs and spaghetti. So I decided to start with a Tuesday special of the hamburger steak served with turnip greens, beets, and mashed potatoes. Oh, 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 this hamburger steak looks amazing. Wonderful brown gravy. Ooh, it's so pretty looking. It smells fantastic, and it tastes fantastic. So this is actually the first time I've ever eaten in Lenny's. I've been trying to get here for years, but they close at 3 o'clock, so uh, I never got a chance to get here until now. Ooh, these mashed potatoes are fantastic. These turnip greens look nice, so we'll give these a taste. Mmm, good stuff there. And then these beets. I always love some good beets. Ah, okay, these have very nice flavors, so I'm happy with everything on the plate. I'm a big fan of a delicious meat and three plate lunch, and this is exactly what I needed today. Some nice, delicious meat and the hamburger steak that has a lot of great flavor here. I'm gonna mix it up with some of this delicious mashed potatoes and gravy to uh, get a little combo now. And then I've got my delicious bread here next to it. Some little New Orleans French bread. Ooh, it's gonna taste it by itself first. All good. Let's give it a little uh, mashed potato gravy treatment and see how that is. 
Definitely not going away hungry from here today. <laughs> Let's try it with the beets. I've never mixed the uh, French bread up with any beets before, so... Hey, it works though! So, it's all good. Everything on the plate goes very nicely together, so I'm really happy. So, my plate lunch dreams have come true. Everything is nice and delicious the way I would like it. Very simple. I mean, these turnip greens and the beets are probably out of a can, but uh, they go very well with everything else. The mashed potatoes are very well done. The gravy is delicious. The hamburger steak is just juicy, full of flavor. This is uh, just a nice, simple meal. It makes a really good lunch and very affordable lunch. So, this is a uh, great spot, definitely, and probably the most affordable plate lunch in the warehouse district that I know of, at least. There's a few other plate lunch and breakfast spots in the Central Business District that might give this place a run for the money uh, as far as the price category goes. But uh, this place is going to be hard to beat though, I think. They pretty well have some of the best prices in town. I think there might be one other place that's also run by some uh, folks of Greek ancestry. It's a little bit cheaper than this place even, so uh, that's on St. Charles Avenue. So we've got some upcoming other great value plate lunch and breakfast spots we will be checking out. So make sure you subscribe to the Dolajet channel if you want to keep up with our upcoming exploration of more great hamburgers and affordable plate lunch deals. Because New Orleans does have some great nice restaurants and a lot of these uh, more value based places often get left out of the reviews. So it's always great to be able to get an affordable meal and it's uh, nice and quick to eat in here as well. So it's easy, fast and cheap. So I don't know if you can get so many great things all in a row at most other places these days. And interestingly enough, while I was filming the footage for this, one of my friends sent me a text with a picture of some fantastic looking food at yet another fantastic new restaurant to me that I haven't been to yet. So, the Nola Jets work is never going to get done because we keep getting more new restaurants and there's so many different kinds and types of restaurants. We have many, many reviews of just New Orleans, not to mention all the other places we make videos for. So there's definitely a wide variety of delicious types of food in the New Orleans area. I do love these beets. To me, a beet's almost like a dessert. It's such a uh, nice taste of uh, something a bit sweet, nice and crunchy. Uh, I think it might be the dessert of champions in some cases. So if you've got to have a vegetable for dessert, the beet might be one of the best ideas for that. So it's uh, always a thing I feel much better after eating them. They've got a lot of great nutrients in them and they're uh, Definitely a nice crunchy thing that, you know, as a kid, I never really ate them that much, but uh, definitely I wish I would have eaten more of them. We just uh, never seemed to eat them. They were never around. But, ooh, I did eat a lot of turnip greens. So, always feeling better when I eat my turnip greens, too. There's lots of great vitamins in your greens. You should always eat as many greens as possible, I think. So, this has been a really enjoyable plate lunch, and uh, kind of sad that I'm almost done. I've really had some above and beyond fun times and great food in here. So this has been a great plate lunch that would be at home in Nashville or most other southern cities. So for all of you out there that are a little cautious about New Orleans food, we have totally normal southern food too. So just like I destroyed that plate lunch, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this plate lunch. While you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account because, hey, I work for tips and I appreciate that. This meal was only $11.75 before tip with a nice tea to drink. Next up is the Monday special of the chicken fried steak with red beans and rice and a salad. So this uh, chicken fried steak or country fried steak looks pretty good. Let's give it a taste. So it's not a thick piece of meat. It is a standard thin piece with a little fried crust on it. It's got a decent flavor, so... Give the red beans and rice a little taste, and they are good red beans and rice. I don't think I've ever had bad red beans and rice in the world. Now we'll try this tomato and a little salad. It has a little Italian dressing on it, and uh, that's all good too. So everything has a good flavor. The uh, chicken fried slash country fried steak uh, could have a little bit of a crustier crust on it for me. It doesn't have as much of a crunch as I usually would like. 
Uh, the red beans and rice, a very generous serving here. So uh, again, they give you good portion size here. You're not gonna go away too hungry here. And the uh, chicken fried steak went down very nice and easy. And these red beans also are pretty darn easy and tasty to eat. And they are very filling. Monday is the traditional day in New Orleans for red beans and rice because Mondays were traditionally the laundry day. And so while the laundry was being done, red beans and rice were an easy dish to put onto the pot and cook while the laundry was getting done. So it's still a huge tradition in New Orleans and almost every restaurant will have some kind of red beans and rice dish on Mondays. So if you're ever in town on a Monday, give the beans a try. And just like I've destroyed this plate of food, destroy that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and share this video with any of your friends and contacts that would enjoy it. And I really would appreciate it. But now we're gonna move on to the cheeseburger because I'm gonna eat more food for all of you out there so we can see the cheeseburger. And I skipped dinner the night before just so I'd have enough room to fit in this cheeseburger to sample this to see how it's gonna go in our quest for the best burger in New Orleans. So it's a good juicy burger, I have to say. A lot of good flavor in here. The bun is uh, nothing that special, but it looks like the meat almost is going to be the exact equal or maybe a little bigger than the bun, which I'm always a fan of more meat and less bun. So there's a lot of good juicy meat flavor beef is cooked perfectly, the uh, toppings are all nice, now there will be some bun coming detached from my bites, but uh, that might be because the uh, bun is uh, full of juice from the burger. So I have to say, I was on the verge of not even trying the burger here, as I saw absolutely zero reviews on how the burger was. I couldn't even find a picture of the burger here. So until I sampled the fantastic hamburger steak, I was really on the fence about even sampling the burger, but uh, after the hamburger steak, I was like, okay, they definitely know how to make delicious steak out of hamburger. So I'm gonna try a cheeseburger here. And I can say it's uh, definitely been a very nice burger, and uh, I think it might be highly underrated, especially for the price. So it's a nice, decent uh, thickness of meat. Uh, I've ended up with more meat than bun, so that's always a win in my book. So just like I destroyed that burger, destroy that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, Comment below, let me know what you thought about the burger and all the rest of the experience here at Lenny's. And the total for the burger and the plate lunch was $20.50, and I had an iced tea to drink with that. So thanks so much to everybody at Lenny's for some fantastic food. And thanks to all of you out there for viewing the Noah channel, especially to my Patreons. And if you could just go ahead and smash that subscribe button if you haven't yet, that'll be the little circle in my head inside of it. And then if you click on the rectangles on either side of me, that will be another Nolagent video. So make sure to tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people.